how to create a 3x3 grid in Affinity Photo on top of an image that you can print. There is no grid shape in Affinity Photo, so you have to create one using individual paths. I have a document, 999 by 999 Just makes it easier to divide by three. When you come to the spacing setting, document height and width divided by three. Grids can be found in the view menu. So go to the view menu and show grid. The grid does not print. View menu and grid access manager to manipulate the grid. In the middle of the panel, click advanced. Go to the uniform and deselect it. First and second access are now available. For the first access, set the spacing to 333. Whatever the size of the document, divide it by 3. Go to the second access and enter 333 again. The document does not need to be square. Click close. You now have your grid. However, if you go to the printing and print it off, you won't see the grid. You'll see the image. The grid can be created with vector lines. Go to the tools panel and the pen tool. Go to the first line and then click the top and go down to the bottom. If you make a mistake, you can always undo it. Apply the pen tool and change the color and width. Go to the stroke at the top of the screen. Set the stroke color to white or red or green, etc. Up to you. Set the stroke width. You could use the other settings such as dash if you wished. Once you have finished a line, press escape. Go to the next line on the vertical. From top to bottom, press escape. Go to the horizontal lines, left to right. Escape. Go to the second horizontal line and add a new line. Press escape. You now have your 3x3 cell structure. You can now merge the lines into the image. Layer menu and merge visible. Select the layers below and delete them. If you want to frame around your grid, rectangle tool, no fill, set a stroke. Go to your file menu and print and there you have it. You've got a lovely grid on top of your image. Useful for positioning, scaling of images. If you wish, you can actually merge the curves via the layer menu and then add the entire grid to the assets panel for future use. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo. Please click the subscribe button. Please add a comment or two, a dislike or like. Thank you very much.